we're about to head out on this 16 miler. So this is about three miles in. It's one of my favorite parts of this route. Just a nice view of the lake. It's pretty sick. When I'm out here for a morning run, the sun's usually rising by the lake, it's pretty sweet, but I'm trying to go for a mid-afternoon run here, I'm trying to get used to the heat in case this race is hot. seven miles in about to make the turnaround but just enjoying this view here at the lake love this route it's a really sweet route rocking the meta ski meta speed sky paris these things rock I don't feel like they're as fast as the Sky Pluses, but they're squishy and bouncy. So, really liking them. All right, so about nine miles in, been dropping about 725-ish pace for this workout um, and honestly this is probably one of the best workouts I've had since I got sick so um, not quite at the level I was before being sick but feeling really good so that's good news for the race so I always feel just slightly better on race day all the time um, but what I'm enjoying is I've just got this strategy down where I used to only listen to music when I'd run, but now I listen to audiobooks. I started that at the beginning of this year, and my plan is for the race, audiobook for the first half of the marathon, and then either right at the halfway mark or sometime after, I'll start a playlist of music and start ripping it. So, I mean, that's the idea is probably, you know, listen to that audiobook so I can chill, get in a groove. And then that way I don't just think I'm gonna try to bank time at the beginning and then rip it. So that's the plan. That's what I've been doing through training. We'll see how it goes. Went a little fast on this one. Hit like a 718 on that ninth mile. Let's keep rocking and rolling. All right, 16 miles done, 7, 12 pace. That was a pretty good workout. 
pretty sick. All right, well, I'll see y'all.